Today let's understand what are variables in C++. So I'll take up the concept of variables. Variables is the most fundamental uh, concept of any programming language, right? Uh, basically, variable is a location in the computer memory which can store data and is given a symbolic name for easy reference, right? So, a variable is something, variable is a location, fine, in the computer memory. This you should remember the variable is a memory in the computer, uh, location in the computer memory and it can store data, right? It can store data and it is given a name, a symbolic name or a name, right? for easy reference so that we know the different variables that we have and what values we are storing in each variable right now there are uh, different data types in c++ so i will first of all take this uh, i i'll declare a variable of integer type right so let's see how to declare a variable of integer type Supposing I want to store uh, the marks of an of a student, right? Okay. So here I, I want to store the marks of a student. Now marks are like this, right? They are integers, fine. So let's say that uh, marks will not be awarded in uh, decimals. So as of now, I am taking it as whole numbers. These are the different kinds of marks which we can have, right? Okay. So here this can be stored in an integer data type fine so now i have to declare a variable and i have to give the data type of the variable that is int and now we have to give the name for the variable the name for the variable is something which is user defined right so you can give any name you want to this variable so here i call it as marks fine and after that we put a semicolon so this is the statement wherein we have declared this variable right suppose i want to store the grade of a student right now the grade of the student can be like this a b right c let's say it's uh, like this fine and e so it is going to take one of these values fine so this is what this is basically a character right so this grade has to be stored in a character data type that is char in, in c++ you have the char data type so here i'm going to write it as char grade like this fine so now i have declared two variables int marks char grade supposing i want to store the salary of an individual let us say the salary can be in uh, uh, decimals also, I say 60,000.89, right, 10,000.00, okay, 78,000.67, something like this, it can be in decimals also. So, now, a uh, integer value cannot hold this, because this has got decimals. So, now I will go for a float variable for this, let us say float salary. When you give the name of the variable, we can give any name we want, we cannot give the keywords in C++, remember that and um, the names of these variables have to be written exactly in the same way because C++ is case sensitive. So, if I have something like this, like I have written int marks and I write here uh, like this marks is equal to 90 this statement will generate an error because marks is different from marks understood so the variable that is defined in the memory is marks like this lower case fine so now let's see when we declare a variable in the memory like what actually how uh, it works right suppose this is your memory here 
So, a small location is given to this variable right. This um, the name of this variable here it is identified by this name marks right and inside this you have the value fine that is let us say 90 fine. Here let us say I will just change the statement I will put it as marks is equal to 90 like this right and this particular uh, location like I had written this variable is a location in the computer memory and each location in the computer memory will have an address of its own. So, now this particular uh, location this is identified by this name marks, but it will have its own physical address right ok. So, let us say the physical address is 7654 this is the address of the variable right, but for us the computer uh, basically it is like this the computer recognizes this variable with this physical address, but since, since we cannot remember these physical addresses and all. So, we need some names by which we can reference this particular location. So, marks is the name that is given for this location right. So, this whatever the value we have put inside marks this can be changed whenever we want right. So, anywhere in the program you can write marks is equal to 70. So, when you write this marks is equal to 70 this marks will get erased and the value 70 is put into this right. So, I can write marks is equal to marks plus 8 right. So, that is basically what is marks marks is 70. So, 70 plus 8 this becomes equal to 78 like this right ok. Hmm. The name of the variable is the same, but the contents of the variables we can change right ok. Now, um, for defining the variable here declaration of the variable like I said int marks fine. Now, supposing I have uh, int marks and then I have one more variable I call it as int roll number of the student let us say right. Now, instead of putting it like this I can put them in the same line int marks comma roll number like this since they are both of the same data type right. If you have this char grade and then char answer like this fine. So, since both of them are the same data type I can combine it like this, but I cannot write something like uh, int marks comma care grade this is wrong this cannot be done right fine, but this one is allowed what I have written here fine and um, while declaring the variable itself we can give the value for the variable also if we want one way is doing like this like I say uh, int salary or int marks and I write after this marks is equal to 90 or 80 or whatever right. I can also write like this int marks is equal to 90 in the same line right. So, while defining the variables we have to take care we have to first of all decide what will be the data type of the variable right. Like here I have written care grade equal to a this is a character. So, it has to be in single quotes all the character variables will be in single quotes it can take only one character at a time right. So, while declaring the variables you should know what kind of data is going to go into the variables and depending on that you have to choose the data type of the variable. Once you choose the data type of the variable that should be final I mean you cannot keep on changing the data type of the variable every time. Uh, because once you store some integer values I mean as far as one uh, particular value is concerned that is fine, but uh, we should not be uh, changing the data type of a variable. So, you should uh, make sure that you first of all decide what is the data type of the variable and then give the data type to the variable right. Uh, then
suppose I write a small program here int main right now I write int marks fine and here I write C out enter the marks of the student right C out and then it can be given in the same line or a separate line like this now I am asking the user to enter the marks right so C in marks now this whatever the user enters this part this will go into this variable called marks here fine so whatever the user enters supposing the user enters the marks as 80 so the uh, the value 80 will go into the variable right okay and after that you can print this see out the marks of the student is like this marks and then you can give a end in, right and then give a return statement at the end right so here basically we have declared an integer variable called marks and ask the user to enter the variable enter the value into the variable marks and displayed it right so this is how an integer variable is declared and what the concept of variable is this right so variable is a location in the computer memory which stores some data fine so in my next session i'll take up some more things on variable and we will do some program in which we'll be declaring and uh, manipulating the variables right so with that i end this session bye